So today I'm talking about a Kia with the P0132 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Kia P0132 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit high voltage bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors located on the exhaust to know how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. And it's seen a problem with one of these. So that to be troubleshooting know why. And bank one is always inside the engine with the number one cylinder. And sensor one is always the first sensor going down on the exhaust. And so some of the possible causes of this, well, it could be a bad oxygen sensor, it could be an open or short, it could be a bad connection, and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate bank one sensor one oxygen sensor. And there can be multiple sensors. Usually there's two but there can be more there can be like four or more depending on the year the Kia and the type of exhaust but basically what's going on with them is that you'll have one before the catalytic converter which is called sensor one or upstream and you have one after the catalytic converter which is called sensor two or downstream and so the one you want to locate is going to be the one before the catalytic converter is called sensor one and this could be located differently for example here's a 2015 Kia Optima and the sensor is located right up inside the engine compartment when you pop the hood it's right on the exhaust up by the firewall and and this would be sensor one and down below after the catalytic converter there would be another sensor and that would be sensor two on this particular Kia now again there can be some differences so it's just going to vary it's always a good idea to get a diagram of where the sensors are at for your particular Kia but the first thing to do is go locate that bank one sensor one oxygen sensor and so once you locate it the next thing to do is to examine the wiring really good because anything wrong with the wiring, an open short, bad connection, anything like this is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you're going to want to make sure that all looks good. And another thing to keep in mind is that this is going to be on a fuse. There'll be a fuse box inside the engine compartment and there'll be a fuse inside of there that'll be for these sensors. So for like example, here's a 2013 Kia Optima. And as you can see right here, it says sensor one. You have downstream O2 sensor, upstream O2 sensor, and sensor one is right over here. Now these can be kind of vague sometimes. Sometimes they don't, they're not really clear like this on which sensor it is, but there will be a fuse in the engine compartment for these sensors. And it's always a good idea to make sure that hasn't blown because it will cause issues if it has. So if you check that all out, the, the wiring all looks good, there's no blown fuse or anything like that, then very likely there is something wrong with this sensor and it needs to be replaced. You can test it if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on that. Most people will go ahead and replace it since it is a low cost part. I'll trip over on Amazon, give you an idea what it looks like and how much it's going for. It looks like right now they're ranging around $40, $50, $39. There's one for $22. So they're not like huge high cost parts or anything. But like I said, if you want to, you can test it to be sure that's bad, even though very likely at this point, if you check out that wiring and that looks good and there's no blown fuse, then very likely you're going to have to swap that out. And one thing to keep in mind when you go to do this is that you'll need a special tool to be able to swap it out. They're not hugely expensive. They're usually around $15, $20. But you will need this tool on, on some of these sensors to get out since they're recessed in like this. Sometimes you don't need it, but that's mainly like on sensor two. You can get on it with an open end wrench. But on these sensor ones, quite commonly, they're recessed into something like this. And you almost need that special tool to get them in and out. So go and check it out and look at it since you might not need it, but very likely you will since they are commonly recessed in to a hole. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing the Kia with the P0132 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.